Hey everybody, welcome back to Gunsmith, where we are continuing our glove sale simulator. We're just selling lots of gloves. I went ahead and I researched the zipping machine. It's time to start making something a bit, I don't know, just a bit, a bit more exciting than gloves, okay? That's the whole nature of this game. Now that we've researched the zipping machine, we're going to go ahead and uh, research this. This is the combat apparel tier one. And as soon as we research this, we're going to start getting orders for this stuff. So we need to be prepared to do it. So I'm going to hit research on that. Uh, I have 10% of our research budget, or sorry, 10% of our budget going to research right now. So we're going to get 23 a day. I think that's pretty nice. And uh, as we get more money here, we'll see that this number, like this, that's how this correlates. 10% of what we have goes into this, right? So as our money grows, so does our research go, okay? It's a percentage thing. So I think I want to have my apparel stuff over here. Boots, combat boot, or combat boots, backpacks, uh, the trousers, all that stuff. But the processes behind making these things, understandably, are more, uh, well, more complicated than making the, the gloves. Take a look at the boxing machine. You'll see that the combat backpack requires sewing level two. Combat trousers require level two sewing and two zipping, okay? Now we can't see the, uh, the recipes for those yet until we research them. So very soon, we'll start seeing that happen. Take a look at our resources. You can see that we're actually building up a stash of plastic fittings and gloves. We're not able to get them merged fast enough. So we really could use another merging machine and I am gonna make another one, but I'm not entirely sure about like the logistics of getting it over there. I'm thinking like at the moment, I'm thinking I need another dispenser. If I do two dispensers and then do a two-way splitter and a two-way splitter, we could get to four of these things. Uh, or I could just have us, you know, banking up the gloves for this. I, I don't know if there's gonna be better gloves to make later. Uh, I know that the plastic fittings are gonna have more uses. So I'm okay with building up a supply of plastic fittings. But the gloves are a little bit like, I don't know if I want to build up a supply of those things, right? Because we're kicking these things out really, really fast now. Um, so one of the things we might want to look at is we can actually reduce how many cutting machines we're operating. And we might be able to save some power. We could repurpose one of the cutting machines to cut the boot soles instead. And then we only have to worry about uh, this one here, right? We're running out of plastic sheets. Oh, right, fabric sheets. So uh, the next thing, there's no pausing, right? Uh, I, I'm anticipating, I'm, I'm recording this immediately after the last one. I'm anticipating somebody's gonna comment about not having the marketing guy by the end of the video. I know, okay? I know. I showed the automation rules. I don't expect them to work yet. They're not even on, okay? Uh, but we're gonna get take care of that. I wanna do as much manually as I can in the early game because hiring people costs money and uh, clicking my mouse does not. So that's what I'd like to, to get a hold on here. Okay, so now that we have those other, uh, the other stuff researched, we should start seeing orders come in for the other stuff, and indeed we do. So here's an order for combat trousers as well. And it's got a pretty quick uh, turnover rate, but look at the money we get for it, right? We have tons of gloves already and we're kicking them out very fast, but the trousers are the thing we have to focus on. So let's take a look at, at trousers. And I think I'm gonna have my apparel stuff set up over here. So uh, what I wanna do is I'm gonna shut down, I think I'm gonna shut down this line temporarily. And with this line shut down and all the products moved off the belt, hopefully. There we go. Uh, we're gonna expand this, bring this all the way down to here. Bring the boxer down to, let's say here. Yep. We're gonna have the sewing machine come out over to here. We also wanna repair it, because it's like all this stuff is just going bad on us. We're gonna move this guy to just be over here for now. And then I wanna have belts running along here. Like that. Now we can have another, another merger machine to make more gloves. And I'm gonna look into that because I probably will end up doing a two-way splitter. And then that two-way splitter will have, well, it'll be two two-way splitters, right? So I'll have to do a two-way splitter into two, into two two-way splitters. It's gonna get expensive. Um, hmm. It might be better just to have two more dispensers right here, kicking out into these. I think that's probably the way, the way to go. 
Yeah, actually, I think that's the way to go. So uh, I'm going to go like this dispenser here. And we'll have a dispenser uh, here. We'll have a belt that goes in like this. Honestly, the way we're building these up, I'm tempted to have a, a I'm tempted to have a two-way on this as is because of the way we're building this up. Let me see how that looks. So we put a two-way. Let's put a couple more merger machines. Where's my merger machines? Right here. If I put another merger here, let's say here and here, right? If I do this, actually, you could be right next to each other, can't you? Sure can. I could just do this. That will probably work. I don't know if we're going to get spillage that way, though. Let's be safe about it and bring it back a little bit. Although we're running out of space if I do that. Now, I think we'll be okay. I don't think we're going to have spillage problem. I'm going to go like this. Go like, go like this. And then we just go basically like this. Butt this up against this. Butt this up against this. Have you dispense the uh, gloves? Have you dispense the fittings? And then hook these two things. Uh, these five things. Sorry. Hook these five things. Right? Up to this controller. Uh... This is the one with 11. Hook it up to this controller here. Add machine. One, two, three, four. Can't add all of them. Okay, no problem. We'll just have this one. Grab this machine randomly, and that's okay. All right. Everything should be turned on now. Now, if that's the case, we're at 459. Uh, merger machine. You're making camo gloves. Merger machine. You're making camo gloves. Power it on, please. I don't know why you're off still. All right. There we go. Everything should be on. So... Now we should be making even more. I, I want to double check this and make sure we're not getting a ton of spillage. And it looks to me like they are getting the product in. I think. Are you spilling? That might be getting spillage. It looks like it's going into the machine, though. I mean, it looks like it is. It says it's functional. But it's not, it's not outputting anything. So I think this is getting... I think this is spillage. Yeah, I think this is I think this is spillage. Power this down, power this down. Power these things down. I think we're I think we're experiencing spillage here. Uh, so instead of this, let's move this over just a little bit. Cuz I we're going to need a little bit more room, I think. So we'll move this over here like this. Like this. There we go. So put it into the, this and then we're going to want to have uh, I think two of the little ones. And then we'll go like that, which should put it into the merger machine. Oh, no, that's no. Okay, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I was thinking that. No, I, I was I was right initially. I was right before. What am I? Why is that not working? That is strange, actually. Why isn't that working? Does it actually have to be lined up like this? Because that sucks if it does. But it may. It may require this. It may require this. Yeah, we have lots of... Sp I think we have spillage here. Hold on. Hoover. Just hoover all this. I don't... I can't... Well, well, there it goes. It wouldn't place it, so maybe you think we were spilling. Uh, let's go ahead and fill some orders so that we uh, don't have to worry about contract problems. There we go. And we want to go about like this about like this put the little belt there and there and I think that works better I think that works better but you see now I can't it's not over far enough I still need to scoot it over yeah so I mean that that should work I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Let's space them out just a little bit more. And again, we want to, I need to scoot it over even more. I'm still in the way of this machine and I refuse to move it. I'm gonna be stubborn about that. I don't wanna move that machine. Just scoot it this way. 
And with this being here, can I get that? There we go. All right, so I don't see why that wasn't kicking them out. Because it totally should have been. So let's turn these back on. They're outputting camo gloves. That's the whole point. And then you should be dispensing the fabric gloves. Right? You should be dispensing fabric gloves. And you should be dispensing the plastic fittings. Right? So turn you on. Turn you on. And with all these machines on, we should see production coming out of them. I can see stuff being destroyed. Oh, you're not on. Oh, the splitter's not on. That's why the, sp the splitter wasn't on. All right, all right. You win. The whole time. I think it would have worked the whole time if the splitter wasn't on. All right, no problem, no problem. We'll just uh, we'll just hoover it up. Everything that's on the inside of that, we'll hoover it up. And uh, now we should start seeing gloves being kicked out faster, right? I would hope. I'm seeing one. I think so? Are you not getting the... I'm still not seeing gloves. Like, you're getting gloves and not fittings, and you're getting fittings and not gloves. So why would the splitter be sending one product one way and one the other way? Like, why would that be happening? Whoa, that's not the way I want that to be. Maybe if I stagger their... If I stagger this, will that do it? Like, I need gloves and fittings to go in different directions. But this one's getting only fittings, and this one's getting only gloves. Damn. All right. Well, uh, here's what we'll do then. Let's let's turn this let's turn this off. I'm not sure why that's doing that, but all right. Turn this off. We're gonna kick that to the curb. We'll use it later for the combat boots and stuff. We're gonna kick all this stuff out of here. Let's just take away these. Take away. Uh, leave that. Take away this though. We don't need this, I guess. And uh, let's hoover all this stuff up. Huh. That's not at all the way I thought that was going to go down. I wonder if there's like something I'm missing there. Because that that just doesn't seem like... That doesn't seem effective, that's for sure. Uh, we'll go and put you there. Put you uh, there. Kind of want to... I don't really want to stick you in between, do I? I don't see any reason that why that doesn't work. There's plenty of room to get to the side of it to repair it. Of course, it makes it to where this machine can't be repaired, though. And that's what I was trying to avoid before. So, let's do this. And, like, again, I don't see any reason why this doesn't just, you know, work out of the box. This should just work straight up. And this one's working now. But this is very expensive. I wanted to split it so I could use two of them. Because this is incredibly expensive. But... Uh, yeah, because resource-wise, we're still building these up. I want to see these numbers dropping, though. And I'm starting to notice that they are dropping. So at least we're using the supply. Good. Okay. Let's fill the orders before we're uh, delinquent on them. Or whatever you want to call it. Fill a bunch of orders. We got five grand. Let's talk about new things like the combat trousers. Okay? So combat trousers in the cookbook, we can see... That these things are actually fairly simple to make. Take the sheet, the cutter machine cuts them into trousers. I think I'm gonna borrow this. This one's gonna cut it into trousers. Uh, wait, that's doable actually. Hang on, uh, let's get the repair tool. Repair all these up. We're also out of supply because I haven't been paying attention to the supply. This is one of those games where because you can't pause it, if you're really getting into like the problems you have and trying to solve them, you're going to have like machines shutting down on you. You know, like if you don't have the maintenance staff, which I think I probably should just get a one mechanic. I'll hire one just because I don't want to have to manage it anymore. We're going to start getting to the point where managing this is going to be kind of a pain. So we have a mechanic coming into work now, at least. And we want to repair these ourselves. There we go. There we go. There we go. I want to figure that out. I want to figure out why I can't use a splitter on that. Maybe if I have them... 
like staggered the supply, you know? I don't know. Have it to where they're kind of coming in two by two somehow. I have no idea why that was the case. So we have a mechanic, but I also need resources, right? Because I haven't been paying attention to the resources I have, and now I'm out of raw materials. So I'm just going to buy a bunch right now just to get us going again. And I know that that puts me... Don't worry about my money. I got it. I got this. Okay. Uh, so we've got the mechanic set up and everything. What I could do is have this one. Because we have lots of gloves in storage, and like we're kind of building up the supply and maintaining it right now, because of that, I can have this one output the trousers instead. So if this is creating trousers now, it's going to take two seconds for the input, for the output, sorry. And it's also going to take three fabric sheets to create them. But I don't have to have any additional machines, right? This can just start making trousers for me and popping it into the recycle bin. Okay. So in the cookbook... Trousers need sewed twice and zipped twice. So what we'll want to do, I'm not sure if that's the order they have to be done though. Do they have to be zipped twice before? I think they do. Do I have to zip them? Do I have to sew them twice and then zip them twice? Or can I sew them once, zip them twice, and then sew them again? Let's test this, because I don't know that. So dispensers, we're gonna have one dispenser and I think I'm gonna pop it probably right here. Mm, it's gonna be a straight line. Let's work backwards actually. I like the idea of working backwards from this. So zipping machine, you can put you right here. Uh, let's actually get it down here a bit. So maybe about here. Oh hell, we'll just put you right up against it. We can do two zips, or maybe just the one, in case we want one zip, right? So we could go like this. You'll see what I mean by it, in case we need one zip in a second, if you don't get what I'm doing already. So we have a couple of zippers here, and then a sewing machine can be popped in uh, right here. We we'll go like that, right? And then we just take the dispenser, I don't know if we need to have a belt after the dispenser. I don't think so, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So this dispenser, right? We'll need another line manager, unfortunately. So uh, let's take a look really quick. I need to I need to sell some things for the money. I don't wanna I don't wanna go bankrupt. The bankrupt threshold in hard mode is thirty thousand in debt. So I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. I need another line manager. So we're gonna go. Uh, I think you have to click one of these stations and then go back and then add. I don't know any other way of getting to this screen because I go to staff management and line control. It doesn't show me that screen. I have to go to station and then it, it's, I still don't have a way of getting to that. Uh, globe doesn't, doesn't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't care about the globe. Yeah. So I think I have to click a station and then go back. And then add a new one, which is what I'm going to do here. So this station here, we'll staff it and add one, two, three, four machines to it. And then what we want to do here, it doesn't look like we have the power to, to handle that. This requires 45 power. Uh, okay. We could scoot this back a little bit. I actually want to shut this line down temporarily. Shut this whole line down and move the sewing machine. I want to move this back here. So if I move the sewing machine like this, actually move it back even more like here. I could probably just shift this whole thing now this way and uh, get rid of this, that right there. And that gives me, what's my power output now? I turn the line back on from here. I have 287 out of 500. What? I can't be right. Oh, turn this on. Okay, there we go. Now it's okay. So we're hugging the line now. It's 493. That can't be right. It wasn't that high before, but it is now. 
I feel like that can't be right. Sell the gloves. Uh, what else? Sell those. And then we're going to have to add one more power. So let's grab you there. Okay. So now we can turn this on. And I want to see if this works the way I, I, I think it will. So zips, zips, and the sewing level one. We're going to have you output trousers. And then I want you to power down because I want to see if this works. I don't want to waste the supply. So you get zipped twice. And then you get sewn again. And then you have them. Awesome. So you can do that in any order. Brilliant. Turn this back on and let it go. So we're going to be making combat trousers now. And these are all instant too. This is an instant delivery, right? Because this doesn't take any processing time. None of this does. So we're literally out of this line anyway, kicking out... Uh, we're kicking out trousers one, sorry, uh, yeah, one every two seconds, which is uh, pretty good. But only if we can make them once every two seconds, which we can't, right? We're only able to make one, one every four seconds right now. So what we need is more. And I think we can probably feed it more by, uh, first off, I think I want another mechanic because we're not getting things fixed. He just costs it's the it's the it's the daily wage that I'm trying to avoid, but honestly at this rate, the daily wage is kind of the least of my worries, right? Cuz I'm barely keeping my head above the water. But I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this. I am going to have you output fabric sheets direct. And then we'll have uh it's 12 on that line. Uh 12, you have 11. Add this one. Yeah, and then turn you on. I'm going to have you output the fabric sheets direct to this machine. And then you can create things uh, that way. Now, you might end up building up. I don't know. We'll see. It looks like you might end up building up a supply in that. Which makes sense. Um, it makes sense because you're getting it way too fast now. So, let's try something different. Let's try turning this off, power off. We're going to move this out of the way. And what I'd like to do, I think, is get another cutter machine set up right here. Actually, let's do one more there. We're going to do a three-way splitter here. And we'll feed that directly into here. And then what I think I want to do with this is... We're going to have that way. Uh, we can actually bring this over more. Bring this like right here. Uh, hmm. No, nah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Move you this way. We're going to have to go like this. Yeah, this will be fine. And then we'll go straight with this one. And then this cutter machine will be there. That one's there. Good. This can go right into there. Feed it direct. Uh, can you get repaired now? You can't. Yeah. All right. You know what? We're going to have to... I'm going to have to slide them down then. Slide you down. Slide you down. Slide all of these down. I, I need them to be able to uh, to repair these machines so I don't have to do it myself anymore. Um, I need to slide all of this down. So that means I need to redirect this belt. We're going to get a little bit of spillage here, but it's a raw material spillage. So it's, it's something I can handle, I think, eventually. Right, like this. Good. And then we're going to flip you... Uh, like this, actually. Hold on. Like that. And then let's just delete these two. And uh, we'll insert you. Which we can't do because of the spillage. So let's, let's do this quickly. Like that. Okay, so I think what we end up with here in this situation is 
outputting trousers, outputting trousers, outputting trousers, party on. Uh, right there. Good. And let's sell some stuff so we don't go bankrupt. <laughs> uh, yep. That, 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 that. And I think that's everything for now. So we're only 400 in debt now. <laughs> you like how this is happening? How do you like me now? But at least they can get repaired, right? I need these machines to be repairable. And that's why we did it that way. Um, I'm going to click on some of these myself too. Uh, oh, you know what? The maintenance guy doesn't have any tools. We got to give that guy tools. Hang on. Uh, it's this tool station. I'm going to set you up with a tool station, my man. Uh, we're going to set you up with it right over in the corner here. Like this. There you go, man. Have that tool station. And then, honestly, I, I think I want another one. Just one more mechanic to, like, help out with things. I think that'll help me greatly. Can I offset? Thank you. Offset the cash from that hire a little bit. Okay. If I turn this back on... Uh, I need to assign that splitter. Let's get it. I'm going to reorganize these lines so these machines are, like, connected to... Am I over on the power draw now? No way. No way. 113. That can't be right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What's your... What is this guy connected to? See, this is the reason why you have to kind of do this a bit more organized. <laughs> right? Oh, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Uh, take you and power on. It won't let me. It's just so much power, you know? That's the problem. It's so much power. We're actually overflowing on the... We're getting spillage on the boxes now, too? How did that happen? Oh, it's because I was, uh... Yeah, alright. Hang on. Uh... I hate how you can't pause it. I really wish you could. I really wish you could. Let's buy some raw materials. And... Right here, and... Any more of these orders we can fill? I still want to fill this one. I have a little bit of time left. Hoover that. And I still I don't have the power capacity to turn these on. I want to so bad. But this is all off right now. 118 power just doesn't add up. 15, 30, uh, 35, 45, um, 65. 85, 105, 110, 118. Wow. It actually adds up. Uh, I don't want to put another power station in. There's got to be something else I can do here. Some way of doing this without turning on a power station. And it's 118. I have to come up with a lot of power to turn this on. Why don't we... Alright, why don't we do this? Just so we can double this up for now. I'll shut this machine off. And we'll delete this for the time being. And what we'll do is... We'll have... It's kind of weird, but we'll put a recycle bin here. And then we hopefully can add this. 98 power now. So we can turn everything on now. And then with everything on, um, we'll wait until we can, like, we'll wait till we have to expand, right? Uh, and then once we do that, we'll add more power. But at the in the meantime, this machine remains powered off, so it's not taking up that power. Um, it's not doing anything. And then the extra materials that are being distributed here, they're just going to go into the recycle bin and go right back into circulation for the time being. I know it's kind of a weird solution, but um, that's what we're going to do for now. All right, 1,700 in the hole. Let's take a look. I want to grab that. And we're finally positive. You guys didn't think I could be profitable, but I'm telling you, it's a little bit intense sometimes, but you can do it. All right, you can. It can happen. 
And this is it. This is literally, like, aside from, I guess, these extra three cutters, this is all I need for trousers. It's basically one of these, and then these instant uh, creation stuff, which honestly, if I was to shut this down, right? If I shut all this down, I don't know what's going to happen to the... Here, let's, let's hoover this. Uh, I don't know what happens to the extra trousers that are in here that aren't zipped. Do they just go back in inventory? The ones that aren't zipped? I don't know. What I want to do is just move this up. If I just do that, right, we'll just get rid of these. It's fixed cost reduction. If I just do that and turn this back on, these can come out of the... Res this comes out of the dispenser directly into the sewing machine. And then I think you have this... There's a view here where we can... Oh, manage patrols. That's what I wanted to do. So the patrols are for the maintenance guys so that they have some direction to their overall, like, pathing, right? And if we want them to take a look at these machines, I need to kind of tell them where to go to check the machines. So I'm just going to kind of do one of these numbers. This is me telling them, hey, do this and check this stuff out, right? So that's that's one patrol, right? One guy, yeah, one patrol route, okay? And then with that patrol route done, we can get a new one. And then this guy, um, he'll start on this side, I guess. I believe he should be able to see all of these machines by doing this route. But his route's a little bit different in the sense that what I want him to do is head this way and investigate this stuff. You're gonna just going to take a look at that stuff and then come back. And I don't remember where I started your route, but we can, we can pick it up there. Save. Okay. So we want to assign manager staff patrols. We want to assign maintenance people to that. We've got two mechanics and they are patrolling. Patrol one, patrol route one, patrol route two. There we go. So hopefully, aside from a few machines like this one here, right? There are a couple that they can't actually I think this is just the only one. I think there's only one machine they can't get to. Everything else they should be able to fix. Because they have to access the side of the machine to fix it. And I've left them one pile of space on any side to do that. So I'm hoping the mechanics get on this. Notice how our boxes are starting to pile up. This is just indicative of our ability to make things faster than we're selling them. So <laughs> I'm just going to do this. And that's good. Now, I want to save the gloves for this order, right? We have a little bit limited time for fulfillment. And this is a bigger paying order. It's $11,000. We also have other available orders. Let me just take a quick look and see if there's any that are for our more advanced stuff. Let me just accept a few of these. A few. <laughs> Except a few. And uh, we're going to make gloves, but... Let's scoop all them up. Okay, good. So, $5,000 in the bank, guys. Last thing I want to do. Okay? And then we're, like, set up for the whole efficiency of it all, right? I know this has been kind of a cluster of an episode. It's like, he's all over the place. But I get a little bit this way, because... It's just like, you can't pause the game. This is how I get when you can't pause the game. My old man brain doesn't work that fast, okay? See, he's fixing that up. That's nice. See? Here he goes. Here he goes. All by himself. Good. All right. Last thing to do then is to get the market station. I'm going to put my market guy right here. And we are going to staff it by buying a market manager. Done. With a market manager in place, we can now go to our market. And you can see we're actually out of fabric sheets because I'm a dumb. We can go to our market and turn on our automation rules. Right? 
So now that we have this in place, market manager guy needs to get in, get in and go to work. Get get in. Go to your station, dummy. Go to go to your go to your station. Go to your station. Go to your station. Right there. Go to your station. How come he's not going to his station? There it goes. Okay. So now automation is in place, which means that as soon as we I want to fulfill this order by the end of the episode. Before the end of the episode. Grab that one. Grab that one. We're making them. We're making them. We need more shelving space, though. Inventory-wise, we're kind of slacking on that. So let me grab some of this. And uh, we want to make the shelves a little bit higher up. There we go. A bit more numerous. Uh, we can't go four high until we do additional research for it. But what we can do is we can put shelves in front of the existing ones. It will let me do that. I don't want to go too far in depth for it, but I do need additional storage. Orders! We're so close on these... Oh, this is 280, not 200. Ah! It's okay. Keep selling the gloves, then. We have gloves to buy us time to save us and keep us afloat until the trousers start coming out. Now, I want to see if we have any orders for anything else. Yes. Okay. So, this is a complicated order. There's camo vests involved in this one. So, let's check out and see what we can do about the camo vest situation. I think... Beyond a shadow of a doubt, to make the vest, we're going to need more power. So I'm going to pop that there now. Hopefully we don't need any more, but we'll see. Now that we can do that, we're going to move to have a, uh, a belt placed here instead. And we're going to go like this. And now this machine gets turned on after it's connected to this grid. Okay, turn on. Good. Now you're going to start making things. We have an extra bin just sitting around, and that's okay. But with this should start making, should anyway, uh, start making, yeah, fabric sheets. Uh, should start making the combat trousers. There we go. So now the trousers should kick out faster. We're making more of them. You should see them cons consistently being kicked out. And uh, again, they get zipped here. Sorry, uh, sewed here. Zipped twice, then sewed again. And out they go. On to our expanding shelves. Lovely. It also sounds to me like I left my Discord running behind the game. Because I heard a message. And because I am in a dual PC setup, uh, my gaming co computer does not go into streamer mode when I'm recording. Only my stream one does. So I have noises happening. But that's okay, because we're done for this episode for now, because I want to do camo. Uh, I want to do camo. I want to do uh, the camo vests. I want to get the vest set up, which is going to be very similar to this, honestly. Because the cookbook says the vests are... Uh, they need zipper one. Then they need sewing level two. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. So here's what we're going to do with the vests. We're going to scooch this back. Right? We're going to do this in the next video, but we're going to scoot these back. We're going to swap places. So the zipper is going to go right next to this. And then this zipper is going to have a belt between it. The sewing machine is going to go on this side of it. And then we're going to put the vest output here and the processing for the vest out here. It's going to then connect to this circuit or this, this system right here. It'll connect to this, but it'll do so between the two zippers so that it only gets one of the zippers. Right? And that way we can, again, we can double dip, triple dip, whatever we got to do to all the machines. Because as long as it goes through here, it's going to get sewn. Right? Every All the sewing happens on the pass as long as it's not super crowded. So that's what we're going to do for, for that. And then this merger machine, which is considered powered on right now, that's why... <laughs> I'm like, where is this power coming from that can't be right? It's this machine. It's still on. Good lord. 
<laughs> All right. Well, hey. We didn't need that extra 100 power. Look, we're at 587. We have 13 spare. We didn't need it. But we will. We will now. We're going to do this. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Here's our trouser order. It's in. 11 grand. We're not broke. Doesn't that feel good? Uh, come on back for the next one. We're going to expand to vests and all sorts of things. We'll see ya. Bye.